Here I've combined a couple of things from the previous videos that you might have seen. Um, I've got a scratch that will move towards the mouse and I've got a ball that will pick a random point to move to on the screen and keep moving. So if I click go you'll see that in action. Um, and the idea behind this game is that you're going to try and avoid the ball but as you can see if we have a collision nothing actually happens at the minute so that's what we're going to look at today we're going to look at how to create collision detection so how does it know when the ball has touched your character and what happens so i'm going to go to scratch and i'm going to go to the uh control and I'm going to use the if then block, which is an important block because it means you can say when something happens. So in our case, we're looking for if the ball touches scratch. Um, and that is in sensing. So if if this sprite, if sprite one, if the cat is touching the ball, then what happens? Right, so I'm going to have to tell this when it starts. So it starts when the game it started when the green flag is clicked and it carries on forever so this isn't just at the start of the game it's at any time if you touch the ball something's going to happen so we've got to tell it what's going to happen so a nice simple one is stop all and that'll stop every script in your game so let's see if that's working so if i click go right so i'm avoiding the ball everything's going well playing well but then a ball comes and gets me oh everything stopped the ball stopped moving, scratch has stopped following the mouse. That's the game over. So that's a really quick way of creating a collision detection in your game. We'll have a look in another video about what you can do in terms of game over screens or resetting um, and different ways to use this to build on your game.